of yes. Indian culture and you know, practice. I thought uh, even my my father is uh, a headmaster in mm -hmm. primary school. I had a dance and say dance. The only thing he remembered, he said, was the ice cream. <laughs> They come long way here, and they need someone to talk. She has a sense of belonging. Yeah. A kind word makes life better. That's true, yeah. because you are a Thetilin. So, Dairy and London Dairy is welcoming you. Best Halloween party, even better than your things. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, I am serious. There's a lot of, one of the girls in it. Mm. I told her daddy and sister. Hello, guys. Uh, we are in Dairy, London Dairy. Uh, in the Northern Ireland, so we have two beautiful ladies, our grannies, Pat and uh, Grania. So we'll you know ask a couple of questions, chit chat with them. We're delighted. We're delighted to have you here, and we will give whatever stories we can, just to let you know what a brilliant city this is. To me, it's a city with a great heart. Mm -hmm. Grania, you'd agree? Definitely. Yes, that the people care. And there's something everybody speaks to you in this town. Looks yeah. after you. Looks after it's you. It's been like a couple of hours for me, like here. Mm -hmm. But everyone who are, uh, you know walks around, they, they greet us. Yes, uh, they meet us. They, and they do. They and smile. Mm -hmm. and those things, like it's good. And that makes the difference. That, mm -hmm. especially in a city that is a university city, I think, and with students coming from all over the world, I think it's so important that um, we embrace. Mm -hmm. all cultures yeah. and we let everybody feel welcome and i always think that if you put yourself in the position of someone coming to a strange mm -hmm. town or city or country and you think it, it's a lonely journey a, a feeling of belonging belongings yeah mm -hmm. and as you mentioned student like especially as my channel it's based the, like mm -hmm. basically for the students who are coming from abroad and yes. staying here mm -hmm. so like how friendly the city is like the city is friendly. Mm -hmm. I, I think that people are always supportive. We always wanted a larger university at McGee and mm -hmm. things are beginning to happen now. Not quick enough, unfortunately, but they are happening. So with more students coming, there's everybody just fits in. There's yeah. no, oh gosh, where are they from? It's just, hi, how are you? How are things going? And the thing we often say in Derry is, what's the crack? What's yeah. the news? How are things? Mm -hmm. um, and it's all of that. And I know crack is a completely different meaning yes, in another culture. As a students are like, they want to live in big cities like London yeah. or something else. Yeah. It isn't, it, because I think London to me is it's so personal. personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It Very is so personal. personal. And I think, Grania, that, that the thing that, that makes Derry a, an ideal place for a student to come is that it is welcoming. Yes. And it's, it's, a city that has grown through difficult times, mm -hmm. but a city that never lost its heart mm -hmm. and it never or made hope. it or hope. Brian, yeah. Definitely, mm -hmm. never, lost Definitely never lost its hope, which is it's the key to it all. And everybody's welcomed and and once you meet a person mm -hmm. once, they'll remember you yeah. every time. You're not just I think in London people pass each other in the street and you're invisible sometimes. Yeah, that's that's true. Whereas uh, the girls, uh, do you know, when they went out with us, we knew everybody and chatted and, and that's the brilliant thing about it. Mm -hmm. So those students are like people who want to come to UK, especially for higher education mm -hmm. or, you know, to live or settle in. So La Dairy and London Dairy is welcoming you. Like mm -hmm. you can yes. hear or listen from their words. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whoever plan planning to come to UK, you know, explore London Dairy and Dairy as well. So that, you know, you can have a bright future here. Mm -hmm. And it is. And heaven knows, you know, you may decide to settle here because yeah. it because it is it's a good place to bring up children. And we have a friend who is Nigerian and she is doing uh, her degree at McGee, her mm -hmm. master's as well. And she would love to settle with her husband and children because she sees the community in it. Um, and it's just by being kind, it's repaid a hundredfold. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I think that that's what students find is a kind word makes life better. That's true you know? because the students, you know, they leave uh, their home country, yeah. their family and relatives, and they come a long way here and they need someone to talk and share. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the self of belonging will be there and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
let's yeah granny you're right about that it is that sense of belonging and knowing that you're not on your Alone. own i think that that's the most important thing mm -hmm. to know that there's somebody you can come to if you have a problem yeah this is a city with a great culture you know yeah that's what the, my next question is like mm -hmm. uh when i came around like guild hall and all i went there mm -hmm. There's a lot of history, art, and all those things. Very. Can you share some things? We about? have now. We have Dairy Girls, which is so famous, yeah. and uh, a bit, you know. But um, it it shows a different side to the city during the troubles. Mm -hmm. I think that it shows that there was this normal life that everybody led, you know. Uh, and I think it's brilliant. We also have a great culture of of people who were. We have a movie star, Roma Downey, mm -hmm. who has is a really great ambassador for the city because she has done a lot of good, kind work for people. We have Johnny McDade, um, uh, who is with Snow Patrol. Mm -hmm. And we football. have yeah, football. football, we have Derry City Football, we have City of Derry Rugby Club, we have cricket clubs, we have a thing called Gaelic Football. Mm -hmm. And uh, for girls, we have Camogie, which is a another game. Lots of sports activities, lots of cultural things. We have um, the Millennium, Millennium Theatre. Mm -hmm. We have Ebrington, where there's lots of concerts for your age. Okay. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, Tell me about Peace Bridge. Well, I actually was at the opening <laughs> of the Peace Bridge because I, okay. uh, the organisation that I worked for when I went on from teaching, um, they were part of a big programme with IDEX and we were invited. And the Peace Bridge, the belief is the Craig Avon Bridge is for cars naturally, mm -hmm. but everybody always felt that there was not the strong link we should have had with the water side because we're mm -hmm. the one city. Yeah. And the Peace Bridge has changed all that. It is it's so accessible. Yeah. And at Ebrington, if you go to a concert, you're just right across from the city side. Mm -hmm. Um off it is for all ages. There's things for all ages. But I think that students who come here feel welcome in the culture yeah, rather that, than just staying in their own and because often it's it's much easier to stay in your own and if you're in a, a place where you're lonely but in Derry everybody seems to be everywhere you know that's true and as I mentioned earlier like you know in cities like London big yes. cities people are like Azil and Basil people oh. like so it's very different mm -hmm. you know from the main cities mm -hmm. to the Derry is it, it's, we're welcome man. Uh, we are welcome but we're I think it's at a slower pace as well yeah. everything is done but it's not you know there's time to talk mm. to people um, and if you're in trouble people are happy mm, then and they uh, do. how about the infrastructure the health care the schooling uh, excellent know. our schooling our uh, primary post primary and the university and northwest regional college which is brilliant Absolutely. So yourself, you are a teacher. I was a teacher. I taught. Uh, even my my father, you know, he's a headmaster in mm. primary school. Mm. He oh, recently he got it. It's the greatest job, in India. you know. Yeah. Uh, the greatest job because you see people grow, you know, from being little babies mm. of four or five coming in, and uh, and then, for example. Some of the politicians, we had an election for the council where there's a Lord Mayor, but one of the guys I taught in babies, and he's over 50, mm -hmm. and then there was another two that I taught in primary two and three, which are about six and seven, but you see them all grow up, and and you know, and did you remember you? Yes, uh, they of remember course. you. No, she always brought them to a few days for ice cream. Yes, I, and strangely, a footballer called Shane Duffy, mm -hmm. um, he was in St. Anne's as a pupil in my class, but I always had a reward system. Mm -hmm. But everybody, the wee ones didn't understand because they were only babies, but every month, mommy or a granny and myself and five or six mommies and grannies mm -hmm. went down to Fiorentini's with a child and our brother or sister and we got ice cream for all working hard but at the end of june everybody had gone but the wee ones didn't realize they were all trying will i be good will i will i get you know will yeah. i do will i work hard um and shane duffy the footballer when he was at him at an event in st anne's the only thing he remembered he said was the ice cream <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange how children each one of us is a star Mm -hmm. And we have a special talent that nobody else has. That's, That's a cat. That's a cat. 
so that's true. It's getting attacked. <laughs> so, you know, but I do believe that each of us has a talent, and I've always felt that children can't be put in a little box and said, mm. "Oh, you must be brilliant at doing maths, and you must be brilliant at this." I think that each child has something to offer that something the other one it. doesn't have. Yep. And I think that education, right through from a primary school right through to university and beyond, I think people have to realize that everyone has a gift. Mm -hmm. And I think that there would be less mental health issues if we talk positively to children and to yeah. young people, if we made them aware that there are great things about this person that nobody else can do, you know, um, a uniqueness, um, but that the greatest gift that they can carry is that they care about somebody else and treat people with respect. That's true. That's what you want, you know. Yeah, and respect. Mm. Oh, you'll be coming back, won't you? You'll be back here. Yeah, sure. Yes, I would get like you to meet John Petto, who works in the Nerve Centre. He does fantastic work with that organisation. They do a lot of filming mm. and things like this. You know, they are really, are really good. He yeah, is yeah. absolutely fantastic. But... The Northwest Regional College as well offers courses that are really exciting as well mm -hmm. and they are linking now with uh, the Letterkenny College uh, of Technology and with Sligo University I think it is mm -hmm. and they're coming together and there's I think that people are recognizing now that academia is not the be all and end all mm -hmm. you know you don't have to be as you say a doctor or yeah. a, you know a lawyer but you can have another profession that will change the world like an engineer mm -hmm. yes my advice to anybody is if you have a child teach your child to love themselves mm -hmm. to treat others well be kind be kind and to treat other people the way they want treated themselves mm. and i think Definitely. that you need to protect your children from some of the dangers of media yes. where there's a lot of bullying and things and that children should be encouraged and all people, students, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, to be able to talk to that one person that you trust if there's something worrying you, not to try and solve it on your own. And the answer is that often education doesn't provide that, That's but true. I think that we need to. So as you can see, like she talked about art, culture, you know, education system. And so for young people like us, the students and also the young generations, yeah. what do you want to know? I want to say that mm -hmm. you're so welcome to come to Derry mm -hmm. and that there will always be someone to look out for you. So finally, I have been hearing some phrases and all. So can you, you know, well, let yeah, us know. One of the see. phrases that we have used has been, your ducks are all in a row, which oh. means that everything's perfect. I think it comes from going to a fun fair and all the little ducks sitting and you're trying to knock them down, but mm -hmm. it, it mean, and maybe it means something else, but it means everything's perfect. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, as I've mentioned before, what's the crack? It just what's means the what's the fun? And what, how about you? How about it's, you, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. It mm. means how are you? Um, oh, how are things with you? Um, hey, what's happening? Um, things like this, grand, just yeah. just everything, uh, they are so dairy, and I think you hear them all the time in dairy yeah. girls yeah. itself. Yeah. It's grand, <laughs> it's yeah. grand, which means um, it's perfect, it's perfect. everything's yeah. perfect, and it's 90, which also That's means 90. the crack's 90, it means that oh, great fun, really great fun. Great fun. I also, we'd like to hear from her as well. Yeah. <laughs> few words. I, 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 I agree with everything Pat says. <laughs> totally agree with everything that Pat says. And you can wish I. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here. And you know, even my, me and my subscribers as well, they'll love you seeing all these things and knowing about dairy and London dairy. If they need to know any more, tell them to contact you and mm -hmm. I'll get the information sure. for them. So those who, so are are coming to, those who are coming to London dairy, you know, please Give it comment section. You know, grannies are there. They will take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and it's been a privilege to have you. And we're so glad that we're friends. Yeah. And we're delighted to make things easier for other people. Because that's the journey we're all on. Good. And special thanks to our director. Oh, our director. Kelly you know, <laughs> oh. Roman. Naina. 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 Thank you. We're getting him this book. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this yes. thank you so much. And so. This, this book will show you lots of the things of the city's past. 
and but much of the jokes and funs and uh, fun activities as well. So it was it's a city of culture actually, mm -hmm. and it was a city of culture a few years ago. But it's had a culture that has been deep seated in both communities, and it's something that we're all proud of. And the largest yes. Halloween parties here. Yes, we have the best Halloween party, even better than New Orleans. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, I am serious. So uh, I'm coming for the Halloween, you know? Third, oh, you're Yes, you are. You definitely. should see all the, oh, the foils on the top. Yeah, exactly. It's brilliant, absolutely. Thank you so much for this. Oh, Thank you enjoy. so much for having me. Not at all. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome, Anna. And Namaste from you know, yes. Indian culture. And, you know, Thank you so much. Something uh, new. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, honest to goodness. You are so, so kind. That means so much. And especially the good health and well-being. Listen, we are an angel. Uh -huh.